could art institutions become a place of resistance? Yes, I think it could, but uh, there is a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, I give you an example. Um, once I was invited to create a platform in the art institution in west of Amsterdam uh, for the refugees to uh, come together to uh, uh, learn some art skills and also for the people who uh, were in the neighborhood to come and meet and greet each other and the refugees in that very space. But Unfortunately, it didn't happen because uh, the people in the neighborhood, they didn't want to come to the art institutions because they find it very uh, pretentious space. And so fell the refugees. And the art institutions, unfortunately, didn't have enough budget to facilitate um, enough time for this project to really find place and to gain the trust of those parties. So I think this is one of the main problems that uh, art institutions have. And the reason is because the art institution feel very elitist and uh, doesn't feel, feel really like a safe space. I could say I don't myself really feel safe by the time when before Corona, when we used to go to the art institutions and to the openings to meet each other. It was not a real place of solidarity because of this very competitive culture that actually exists inside the art, mainly facilitated by art institutions. So when I used to go to exhibitions, I felt that it is actually a place where uh, artists come to um, basically sell themselves, to talk about their success, to talk about, uh, to actually promote themselves, to promote their next shows, to uh, talk about their uh, grant that they received, uh, or to show their power of intellect or uh, their fancy shoes or clothes. So, for being a place of resistance, first of all, we need a community that feels safe. We need a place of solidarity where we could come together to actually genuinely be interested in each other, to, to feel certain understanding, to feel certain um, safety to talk about our precarious life, to talk about anything that we feel like, to even play games, you know, or just drink coffee and tea uh, without high prices. But unfortunately, the art institutions are not there. And I think for any resistance to exist inside the art institution, this is the first thing that needs to exist. A safe place of solidarity where people can come together without any alienation, without any uh, uh, feeling of not belonging there. And this platform itself, it is already a, a place of resistance because I don't feel those places really exist. And if art institutions could facilitate those platforms, it is already itself an act of resistance. And from those places, other acts of resistance could exist and could flourish.